I have, you, you've obviously announced the uh, opus more or less officially. I, get, I gather yesterday was sort of the announcement of its acceptance of the standard, right? Yeah, I, I guess it was two days ago, but but yeah, so so it's a very recent thing, and uh, and uh, obviously we're really happy that the uh, the, the the IIT uh, ETF um, has standardized it. So uh, um, we've been working on that for a few years, started in two thousand nine, and now uh, now it's all um, finalized. So very happy about that. Right. Yeah. No. I'm sort of. I guess I've followed it since the introduction of Silk. Um, yeah. The, I'm just going to shut this phone off. Um, the uh, I guess first question is, what do you see as the key features for end users? Yeah, I think for for end users there are three important elements uh, to it. One is that it is a codec that that will give really 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 good quality, um, and that doesn't always just mean that it sounds better, but it means um, it sounds better given the available resources on the web. So it, it really tries to to give the best user experience given what is available. Um, and for for Skype users, um, that will mean that the, the quality in the future will be even better than what it is now. Uh, so we'll, we'll have stereo and full band. Essentially, that means that it's uh, CD quality. The well, other when important. When you say full band, you mean up to like 22 kilohertz audio support. Yeah, so the, so a sampling rate of uh, 48 kilohertz. So indeed, it will be able to represent the the entire range that humans um, can can hear. And of um, course, at the high end, that benefit comes with music. Yeah, so so indeed, um, Opus um, in that sense is uh, different from from Silk in that it has uh, modes that are especially optimized for music. So it sounds really good for music also already at fairly low low bit rates and I uh, think that it outperforms um, any of the other existing standards that are out there. I, I think me. it was interesting to find that there were there, recently I found there are some people who are actually using just Skype with Silk to do music training. Yeah, so that works. Um, but Silk is indeed not as optimized for music as as Opus is. Uh, so I guess, as you know, Opus is a is a, a, a fusion of two two codecs. One of them is Silk, um, which we've we've um, developed at Skype, and the other codec is is is, is Skelt, um, which which was built mostly by uh, Ziv.org. And so um, I think Opus is, is actually more than just the, the sum of the, of the two codecs. It's a, it's, it's a codec that can anything that can do anything that has to do with using audio over the internet, and, um, and that, that's really useful. So talking about using audio over the internet, you've maintained all the ability to adapt to internet conditions and so on. In other words, uh, like. Right now with Skype for Windows, for instance, I notice sometimes I get a message saying it's trying to adapt to the network, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, exactly. So when you're making a call over the internet, um, Skype is always attempting to determine how many resources are available, um, what's the available uh, bandwidth of the internet. And that, that depends on a lot of factors. And um, especially when you're on like wireless, like Wi-Fi or on a, a 3G link, um, the available internet resources vary over time. It depends on, on what other people are doing. And so you, you need to be adjusting to that um, all the time on the fly. Um, and so um, having a codec that is able to do that actually is really helpful, and, and uh, I think Opus is able to do that better than, all the, than any other codec. Looking at the video yesterday and what occurred to me, and I've, I've got, I don't know if Kai told you, I've got some background. I used to sell spectrum analysis equipment. Um, mm -hmm. I recently, was, well, 10 years ago now, was involved in purchasing an electronic organ that's better than anything else you can find as nice. truly reproducing all the overtones and the high harmonics and so on. Yeah. Um, are there what what are the demands on let's say the CPU of the device? Because uh, there seems to be a lot of activity going on. Ah, um, um, well, so in that sense, Opus is also good in that uh, it can ad adapt. 
to the available CPU resources. So when you're implementing or when you're using Codec as a developer in the API, there is a setting that that uh, determines the complexity, and and I think it's it scales maybe a factor three or so. So the the lowest complexity setting is maybe three times or or maybe four times as efficient as the highest complexity setting. Um, obviously, when you use a lower complexity setting. Either the quality is a little bit lower, or you have to uh, to run at a higher higher bit rate to achieve the same same quality. Um, so, but we think it's actually really useful. So, when you're let's say when you're running on the laptop, most likely you have enough resources to just run the, the codec at the highest complexity setting, even when you're maybe also encoding a video signal. But when you're running on mobile, um, depending on how fast your mobile CPU is and depending on whether you're using video, it may be better to reduce the complexity um, and, and, and thereby kind of optimize the total user experience, especially when you're including video at the same time. So, so fundamentally, you can adopt the deployment of the codec to the level of support the CPU can give. Exactly, yes. Okay. okay. Yep. Um, what the, it's all nice to have all this broadband stuff, but one of the big issues with Silk and other very broadband codecs has been its deployment on devices. I mean, right now, I can only do, say, Silk calls when I call somebody else on Skype. Um, yeah. What, and, and that's... Go ahead. What, my question is, how do you see the deployment coming about so that this gets into other endpoint devices that sort of thing, and obviously the, the other thing is that uh, you got companies like XConnect that are trying to set up ways to interconnect uh, HD voice or higher bandwidth voice calls. I mean, how do you see that all evolving? Yeah, so I think for that area, it's especially useful that Obis is now a standard. So um, because it's a standard, I'm, I'm fairly sure it will be widely adopted. Um, we already know, for instance, that it sits in the, the, the Firefox web browser, and I expect it to, to go into other web browsers as well. So that means, for instance, that you can, in the future, um, you, you can quite likely at some point make Skype calls, let's say, from um, a Skype endpoint to a web browser or you can make calls between two web browsers and so on. Um, and I think it will also mean it gets adopted into hardware more widely. Let's say um, maybe manufacturers will optimize um, uh, Opus for hardware like mobile hardware or um, TV hardware and, and other embedded devices. And I think as a, a third example of that, um, we're, we're hoping that uh, gateway um, manufacturers will also adopt Opus and um, implemented in their gateways, and that's good for let's say when you're making a, a Skype out call, then um, uh, you would initiate the call from Skype using Opus, and it would go um, over Opus to the gateway, and then from the gateway it, it will go onto the PSTN network. Network, and I think that will give a better um, user experience than what we're using now. So, that, yeah, that was one of my questions in the sense of. Uh, getting through, say, a, a SIP gateway and so on, there, you see ways that that can happen then? Eventually, yeah. So, so there is, um, it isn't up to us. It's indeed a matter of having the gateway manufacturers implement Opus. And uh, I'm, I'm optimistic that that will happen. Okay. Okay. Um, have, so, so Opus is now officially standardized. Um, when do you see it showing up in Skype clients? Um, we are working on it, and so obviously it takes a little bit of work. It's a, a new codec. We, we we need to do all the testing. Um, so uh, I, I I can't give you an exact date, but I uh, but I expect it to happen soon. Okay. Um, the, okay. What is 